do you send messages? Today is the day for hunting. The men split into two groups and they went to the forest beyond the river. It happened when they were just crossing the river. The group ahead waved their hands. It was a signal telling them that they found their prey. It was a big wild pig standing beside a rock. One group chased after the wild pig and the other group aimed at it with their bows. We caught the wild pig! They hit their drums and blew their horns. This is the way they let their village across the river know that they caught the wild pig. The women and children in the village heard the sound of the horn and went to the river to greet the men who were back from the hunt. Generations passed. People begin to farm and nations were being made here and there. And each nation was greedy and fought for each other's lands. One day, an army from a neighboring nation attacked. The soldiers on a mountain who were watching the border lit a fire on the watchtower. News could be sent farther with light from a fire than by blowing horns. Soldiers below the mountains saw the light. The, the enemy is coming. coming! The soldiers got ready for battle. A few moments later, another torch was lit. It meant that the enemy was getting closer. There were now five torches lit on the watchtower. The two nations fought all night on the wild fields. As the sun came up, the battle was over. Smoke went up from the watchtower. It meant that the enemy was going back. The smoke could be seen from far away. As kingdoms grew larger and people began to live far away from each other, they couldn't use fires or smoke to send messages because people were too far away from each other. Master Kim called Dorsey. Deliver this letter to Master Bok in Hanyang, ordered Master Kim. Dorsey took several straw sandals and left for Hanyang. Dorsey walked and walked. He saw a soldier riding a horse to deliver a message. Dorsey also wanted to ride a horse, but only messengers who delivered important official messages for the nation could ride horses. Dorsey was going to Hanyang to deliver letters again. But this time, he carried three letters. When he said that he was going back to Hanyang, both Master Che and Scholar Kim had given him a letter to deliver. It was much more convenient to carry several letters at once. This is why post offices were made. They collect letters and deliver them to people all at once. It's much more convenient than one man delivering each letter one by one. The first post office in our country was made in 1884, and it was called Ujon Chongguk. Isn't there a way to send messages by voice? People tried to find ways to send messages faster and easier. And so came the telephone. It's now possible to talk to people far away. Now we can even see people's face while talking on the phone. Our soccer team is playing in another country. I wonder if we won. People wonder about what happens in other countries. Television and radio solve their curiosity. Radio and television give us news about soccer matches in other countries, and they also give us news about forest fires happening on the other side of the world. By watching television and radio, we can cheer for our national soccer team and think about helping people suffering from a forest fire. 
But we don't get all our information just from television and radio. How can I find information that I need in the fastest way possible? It is by using the internet. I have to go to the museum tomorrow. Boram turned on the computer with her mom, and together they found information on the museum. Using the internet, they found out what bus to take. They also found out about tomorrow's weather. It said that it was going to be cold, so they are going to wear warm clothing tomorrow. Boram's family uses the internet often. Mom uses the internet to buy books and clothes. Dad sends emails to a foreign company. Her older brother also studies and plays games. Boram wrote about her trip to the museum on her school homepage. How did they record information in the past? During the times when there was no paper or writing, people painted pictures on rocks or bones. The first writing system was made 5,000 years ago using pictures. Later, the alphabet and Chinese characters were developed. In order to deliver information, people made the printing system after a lot of hard work. Before that, they simply copied books by hand. After printing was developed, people could print what they needed. The oldest remaining metal type printing plate is called Chikchi. We know that metal type printing was used during the Koryo period. How were messages sent in the past? A long time ago, people sent messages by shouting them out. But that couldn't be heard from far away. Also, drums and horns couldn't be heard from very far away. People used fires to send messages even farther. They made watchtowers on top of a tall mountain and signaled with light during the night and signaled with smoke during the day. The number of torches meant different things. It means that everything's normal. It means that the enemy has been seen from far away. It means the enemy is near the border. It means the enemy passed the border. It means that the battle has started.